four entries. Yeah, we have we had about four entries, okay. and I was asked my opinion on all of them. I told them this this is the song. You know, Why? there's that song. There's that song here, and you're like, nah, this be the song. Why? I don't know, but it's catchy. Very nice. I'm not saying the rest are, don't get me wrong, but this this caught my attention the most. I don't know why, but it just caught my attention. It wasn't the video, right? I I don't even know you have a video out. Oh, okay. You have a video out on this one. Mm-hmm. Wow. How did this song come about in your mama? Um, so I wrote my verse, right? Um one day I was there and I was actually listening listening to gospel music and then the first two lines <laughs> <laughs> Really? Yeah. Gospel music. Gospel music. The first two lines. If I can get your attention, mm. I don't mean to waste your time. Mm. So I'm like, huh, I wonder what else, you know, like what else I can do with yeah. it. Yeah. And then the ideas kept flowing. Mm. So I recorded my part and then we we were looking to see like who would fit the mm. bill. Mm. Like who whose style of music would fit the yeah. song and yeah. it was Koji Q, so Wow. Yeah. Um how did you reach out to Q? What, did you guys have any pre existing relationship before that? Um, I've met him before, but mm. never, you know, like nothing. No conversation, no, nothing. Oh, like, hi, yeah. but not other than that, nothing. But um, the producer that I work with, mm. which is P. Weezy. Mm. Yeah, has, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Okay, so that's how come Q yeah. has Q. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow, wow. So, P. Weezy worked on this one. Yes. Um, fun fact about uh, P. Weezy. Um, got to Kumasi and he also left at the same time. Yeah. Mm, so never we we never met in person, but I mean he's a great producer. But I'm a slay. Mm-hmm. I'm a slay. Interesting name. <laughs> I'm a slay. Where's the name from? The Amma or the no the slay <laughs> like coining that name coming up with the name Amma slay. Oh, actually, funny the um the name slay was given to me by um El. Really? Yes, but it it not for like you know the negative mm, part mm, mm, like mm, the slay mm, queen. Mm. We were looking oh like you know a slayer to kill. Yeah. So like yeah, that's where we got the name slay from, but okay. never on the streets. Okay, so L give you that. Yes. So you were um, were you in his camp? Were you friends? Was no, you part no, of no, your no. management? Um, no, I've worked with him before. My first song that I released um, called Assem. Okay. Um, him and uh, Joey B. Mm. Yes. Which year are we talking? Uh, 2019. Okay. Okay. Um, wait. Um, are you an S? No. Okay. I'm <laughs> okay. Then probably I'm I'm getting it wrong. Um, some time back, I think your entry was in 2019. Yes. Yeah, I think I saw some publications on you on um, I think Ghana Web and other yeah, probably, tabloids and yes. that. Yep. So probably that's what made me think that. But um, tw- 2019 was your main entry into the Ghanaian music scene. Yes. Where was Amosley then before that? Oh, I'm a slave was in school. Well, she wasn't I'm a slave then. She was Bridget. <laughs> or she? Bridget. Actually, it's funny because mm. my actual name was Sutton. Real but then Sutton. I was, yeah, Sutton. But okay. then I was told that Ghanaians wouldn't be able to like pronounce it and they would butcher it. So. I can't Sutton. I don't know. Sutton. Sutton. No, no. Not Sutton. No. S U T T O N. Oh, okay. Ghana okay. Sutton, but it's not. It's. I seen. Um, uh, it has something to do with. Um, oh boy. Planets and that. No. Cosmic something? Mm-mm. Nothing? No. Wow. That's an A. Oh, okay. Okay. This one is you. You? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. But that, that wouldn't have been hard to, to say. I don't know. I was told that people needed, like, you know, something easy to remember mm. and to be able to, like, relate. So, I was, mm. I'm a Saturday born. No one, before becoming Amma, I mm. never used my you know my well mccready okay. yeah i never use it only my mom would but that's once in a while because mm. i actually have like my home name okay 
So when um, we were scouting for names and then the Ama and then the Slay, so. Mm. And then you fixed it together, I'm yes. a Slay. <laughs> Um, were you were you not scared with um, or didn't you have no second thoughts about it with that tag on slave? Oh no, you are cool. No, I mean those mm. the slave queens they do their <laughs> things and I also do my thing. Mm. I never, I didn't think about it once. But then you know, like as time goes on, mm. a lot of people oh, you're a slave queen, like it becomes annoying. But mm. then at some point, <laughs> no, like you know how many people have asked me, oh slave. Like when they hear the name, oh, she's a slave queen. But like, mm. if you look at me mm. and you compare me to a slave, like, I, there's no. I've honestly had issues with defining what a slave queen is. Mm -hmm. Some I don't know if it's a job title. I don't know if it's a social media tag. I don't know what it is. I think it's a social, like a social media thing. Mm. And like, yeah. What do slave queens do? I don't know. They slave. <laughs> See, it don't make sense. No, but they slay in a way that like it's more of looks. Mm. You know, it's more of like looks. Yeah. Have you ever heard um this song uh, by Beyonce from uh, Formation? Yeah. Precisely, but um like she has that part in her song like mm. a whole think of few lines. Yeah. But then when she's saying it, she's not saying it like oh her looks and stuff mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Execution. Yes. Doing what you have to do best. Yes. For you, that's slay. Yes. And that's what Ama slay is on. Yes. So, um, Ama, what's your background? As in? Apart from music. Oh. Because you told me you were in school. Yes. Mm. Um. So, I went, I did a little bit of schooling here. Okay. In um, Cape Coast Pet Plunk. Mm -hmm. And after that, um, I did um, high school in the States and okay. I also did college. Mm. So I have a bachelor's and a master's. Mm. So, and? And working on another master's. Wow. You're working on your second master's. Yes. Interesting. But you, you still chose music. Yeah. So what's going to happen to those? I mean, my 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 degrees are in music wow your degrees are in music <laughs> yeah first and second yes interesting um was that what you always wanted to do mm -hmm. i know someone will say that, oh like she has such a good opportunity and she's choosing <laughs> music but that's mm. i mean that's what i mm. i do best mm. so why not for, i'm i'm not a Maybe I'm a little bit of a dreamer, but I mm. feel like you need a little bit of dreams and mm. hard work to, you know, make it happen. And yeah. I feel like if I'm not doing music, mm. I don't know that I would have the passion to do something else. So it's music for you all it's, out. Yeah. So you didn't go to study music to teach music, yeah, but so, to enhance your career. Yes. Yeah, so um, I did. Well my undergrad was um like music so pretty much like how to write how to read music the all the fun things and then my master's was more of the business side of mm. the industry mm. Mm. um so far have you applied any of those oh yeah every single day <laughs> wow and analyzing from what you've you've been taught or what you studied have you found any problems yet in ghana yeah, yes in our well, industry yeah for you as an entry artist what what kind of problem do you think um needs to be solved in our industry music industry to make it short hmm, where do i start from hmm. so i feel like the whole royalties thing needs to be really dealt with hmm. and in ghana i don't really see i see a lot of management like management that act as labels mm. but then there's management some, acting as labels labels but then mm. there's a big difference between like you know being under someone's management and actually being with a record label okay so i feel like um we need to kind of because i don't maybe there is like a major not a major record label but maybe there is a record a few labels mm. in ghana but they're not really like making their presence known and i feel okay. like once someone is on someone's label they feel like oh their management and everything is there but mm. 
it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. You mm-hmm. can be on this a label and then have a whole completely management, mm-hmm. like a different management team. Yeah. So I feel like once that is really figured out, it mm-hmm. would help the industry a lot because then everyone would know their position. Okay, okay. So speaking of royalties. I know you, you wouldn't even bother to go ask of your royalties. Oh, not in Ghana, no. But you do, you, you are, you are, you're a member of a certain right collection societies. Yeah. Which one? Um, is it BM? It's BMI, right? Yeah, South BMI. Africa? No, US. US. Wow. And have you had any so far? Um, not yet, because we actually just registered for everything. Okay. So okay. right now we're trying to like get all the songs cleared mm-hmm. and everything. So once they know that we have the rights mm-hmm. and like the right publications, yeah. then have you attempted um, registering with any in Ghana? Yeah, I'm a member of. Oh, thank you, the musical of Gamro. You're a member of Gamro. Gam- and mus- whichever one it is, I'm <laughs> a member of one of them. You're a member of a man- I'm a member of something. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> Forget. That means that means we're not serious. If you're not able to, you know, at least even remember. No, I mean, like, let's be honest. Mm. What exactly are they doing? Mm. Yeah. You like, you know, let's let's be honest. Mm. If mm. it's something that like they were really like, you know, doing something, then mm. I would be like, oh, these people owe me something. Oh, yeah. Like, but what exactly? I think are it's they just doing? a buddy there. Uh, I don't want to say anything, please. You, I didn't say anything. <laughs> 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 but back to uh, 